Welcome to another episode of the Tech Me Show. This is Lance Seidman. Today we're going to learn how to take your normal USB stick, maybe you're using, maybe you're not, um, or perhaps you got a new USB stick and you're using it for a backup because you have a lot more files, whatever the case may be, but you can take your old USB stick and make it work for you. Make your computer a lot faster. Um, and by faster, I mean having basically virtual RAM. And no, we're not adjusting page files uh, to use your hard drive. We're actually, like I said, we're going to use a USB stick. So, here's my computer, literally, in every sense of the word. Um, so, what we have here is we have my local connected drives, and then we have my external and removable, so to speak. Um, however, my Western Digital is not internal. It's a uh, USB. However, nonetheless, it is acting the way it is, and I don't really question Western Digital. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, so right here we have, it says Microsoft Windows 8, and it actually is. If we go ahead and open it, it is in every sense of the word, uh, Windows 8. Um, and, uh, in fact, it might even say it in here. I don't even know. Uh, which, uh, we could go to open with notepad. Yeah, you get the point. Okay. Um, I don't know why I showed you that. <laughs> I apologize. Maybe I'll edit this out. Probably not. But, uh, nonetheless, um, so we have it right here. Now it says it's only 7.44 gigabytes. Obviously it's an eight gig drive. Windows does what it does. Um, it makes crazy partitions, let's say. Um, but let's go ahead and right-click it. Go to Properties. And there we go. Now, it looks basic, right? It looks normal, so to speak. Um, but if we go to Ready Boost, right now, obviously, I do not have it set up uh, to, you know, uh, use it in Windows. Now, we can dedicate it strictly to Ready Boost, which I'll be honest with you, if you're going to do this, don't go half assed and pardon my language, go all the way, okay? So, use this device, yeah, you could, and you can adjust it to whatever you want so that you can still utilize it for backup, but you know what? Don't risk it, I'm telling you. Don't bother. Dedicate the device to it. So, since you are going to be dedicating the whole thing, you you max it out, right? Um, so here we are maxed out. Now, if you notice, this has basically four gigs, forty forty seven. Ah, funny. Um, now it's funny that um, it would come up as that, right? Since right now in uh, Windows it says it's a uh, 7.44 uh, gig uh, drive. Huh. What could that mean? Oh, I see. Because we currently have information on here, right? So, the only available amount right now is if we use the device is 4. Point, uh, well, basically 4 gigs. Uh, so to speak, or as Windows wants to detect it, pardon me, as 3.95 gigabytes. Okay, now, if we dedicated the whole thing here, right, um, it would format this, uh, and um, we would have our full 8 gigs, or 7.44, or whatever reason, whatever it's shadowing, um, and then, yeah, but do I want to go ahead and get rid of this? Yeah, you know what? You guys are worth it. So let's go ahead and do this. Dedicate this device to Ready Boost. Okay, go ahead and press OK. Configuring. Now, what do you know? Space used all the way. There's only 5.21 megabytes free. But here's the thing. I did say it would format it because I thought for a second it would. But it just goes to show it did not. Did it? No. And now created this file. Let's see what this is, shall we? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't open that. So it's a cache file. Fine. Uh, and what was the file size on that? <laughs> the 3.95, which is exactly the amount of free space it had. 
okay so now let's go ahead and go back to properties ready boost it says it's dedicating the device to ready boost which you would have thought it would have formatted but i guess not to cover their butt so we're going to go ahead and format this windows 8 uh drive here click format okay 7.44 gigs okay what can you do now file system i recommend you leave it at ntfs it is big fat doesn't allow you to do that uh too big and neither there's fat 16 fat 32 neither one are too big plus microsoft basically owns those uh, uh which i'm sure they probably own ntfs too but uh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and change it to the default okay now we could restore device defaults which we're not going to and volume label, we're going to go ahead and get rid of it where it says Microsoft Windows 8. We're going to actually change this to Ready Boost. Okay. So now we're calling it Ready Boost. We could do the quick format, which for this we're going to. Uh, otherwise, you would just uncheck it. And I think it's funny that they have Create an MS DOS Startup Disk. <laughs> Those who know, you don't actually, it doesn't matter. That's another show. So we'll go ahead and quickly format it. Click start. Yes, we're going to erase everything. That means, people, you will not have anything. Okay? And before I uh, do that, let me show you. If you want to go real quick and select everything, uh, say you made a folder here. We'll go ahead and do it. New folder. It'll probably come up on my other screen here, and it did. So we'll put that there and say, there we go, right? And then we could just drag it right into there. It says 10. That looks right. 10 files. Um, obviously, you probably wouldn't want to uh, put the Ready Boost uh, cache file in there, but you get the point, right? Right. So we'll go ahead and remove that. Delete. Fine. Um, and, you know here it is again uh but let's go ahead and do the quick format already i'm sorry for stalling and start yes go ahead uh the drive is in use another program or process is using this device do you want to format it actually yeah we do which i probably should have taken ready boost off first but we'll see what happens here huh Let's have fun. Maybe to ruin our system. Um, okay, format complete. Great. And it says 7.38. Uh, okay, whatever. Inside, nothing. That's right, nothing. We go to properties. Um, it has nothing. I mean, look, every sense of the word. Nothing. Um, okay. So, it's an 8 gig drive. We know this. We've covered this. But it's not coming up. Fine. Uh, now you could compress. I don't recommend it. Uh, at least not right now. Let Microsoft do what it wants. Okay. Um, so here we are. We want to dedicate the device to Ready Boost, right? Maxing it out. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's go ahead and press OK. Okay. In theory, it's utilizing the whole thing. And it only freed, uh, 5.89 megs. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I apologize. That was my Windows phone going off. So now if we go in it, we have that cache file. So now technically, Windows should be going a little bit faster uh, than it previously did. Is it? I don't know. We can assume. But that's I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Uh, and, uh, that's it for today. And, uh, again, thank you for watching the Tech Me Show. Hopefully this goes a little bit quicker for you on your computer. And, uh, yeah, have a good day.